visual filters allow you to display information like special grammatical data on the biblical text so that you can quickly spot this information when you come across it in your study. In this video, we'll look at how to create a set of visual filters that highlight specific morphological forms like masculine or feminine imperative with different colors. Then, we'll step it up a bit and create another set of visual filters that highlight weak verbal forms in the Hebrew Bible for quick analysis. To begin, open the Documents window and select Visual Filter from the options to the left. When the window appears, you'll notice that you can create filters at three different levels, Basic, Bible, and Morph. With the Morph option, Logos will display special grammatical information in your original language Bibles, as well as English Bibles with reverse interlinears. First, you'll want to give your Visual Filter document a name. So choose something you'll remember, because if you're like me, you'll eventually have tons of filters. You want to make it easy to activate these filters, so I'll call this one Hebrew Imperatives. Now, because we want to distinguish between different imperatival forms in the Hebrew Bible, we'll choose to create this filter using Logos Hebrew Morphology. Of course, when you're creating visual filters for the Greek New Testament, you would want to change this to the Greek counterpart listed above. With our parameters set, we're ready to find forms and create visual filters that display those forms on the biblical text. So to begin, click in the first box and just as you would with a morph search, input the at symbol. This command pulls up a new window that allows you to select the exact form you want to find. So if you're looking for nouns, select noun. Or for prepositions, you would select prepositions. But in our case, we want to find imperatives. So select Verb from the list, and Logos will expand your options to the right. Now we can select the tense, aspect, or mood, which is imperative. And then choose whether we want to find feminine or masculine imperatives. And then singular or plural. For this first filter, I'll choose feminine, singular. This query will locate all of the Hebrew imperatives that are feminine, singular. Next. We can hop over to the second box and choose how we want to display this form. For the first one, we'll choose pink foreground to help it stand out. Then we'll repeat this process for feminine plural imperatives. Type the at symbol, then select verb, imperative, feminine, plural. Then select the formatting you want. Now we'll move on to singular and plural masculine forms. For time's sake, this is what your visual filter window should look like when it's complete. Now, open the ESV to Genesis chapter 18 and notice the visual filter markup distinguishing between different forms of the imperative. To turn this visual filter on and off, simply open the visual filter menu from the top, locate the one called Hebrew imperatives, and deselect it with a check. To go a bit further with this lesson, I'll create a second set of visual filters that distinguish between various subsets of Hebrew weak verbs. Again, for time's sake, we'll not cover all the weak verbal forms, but rather focus in on some of the popular ones. To make it easier to identify special grammatical features like weak verbs or verbless clauses, Logos created the Hebrew Grammatical Constructions dataset. So rather than build a sophisticated morph search to locate weak verbal forms, We'll use this data set for most of the heavy lifting. To begin, I'll turn to a biblical text containing several weak verbs, like Genesis 1, 24. Right-click on the first term in this text to open the context menu. It's here that Logos displays important grammatical information like lemma, root, and form. Also notice further down the right-hand side that Logos tells us that the phrase Vayomer contains the lemma Amar, which is classified by Logos as a weak verb. When I expand this information below, we find that it's actually part of a subset of weak verbs called First Aleph. To learn more, select this information from the right and click to open the resource called the Hebrew Grammatical Constructions Dataset Documentation. Here we find a brief description of this form, links to important grammars, and more. To get a quick look at all the forms tagged in this dataset, open the table of contents. Notice that Logos has marked other weak verbal forms like geminate, 
first guttural, first noon, and first yod. For more examples of first olive verbs, you could check out the reference links in this section. But to find all occurrences of first olive verbs, let's return to the biblical text and right-click once again on Vayomer. Select the Grammatical Constructions dataset information and choose to search this resource. In just a matter of seconds, Logos retrieves every instance of first olive verbs in the Hebrew Bible. We can repeat this process for other weak verbs like Yatza a little later in this text, or simply build a new search based on the search we've already run. To do this, copy the search term for first olive forms. Open a new Bible search and now paste it into the search box. Hop into the search query and replace first olive with first yod and press enter. In our new search, we found every occurrence of a first yod verb in the Hebrew Bible. To make a visual filter that displays this important information, open a new visual filter from the documents menu and give it a name. Now, paste the search query into the find box and choose the formatting option you want. Then, repeat this process for other forms. Copy the search query for first olive and paste it into the find box. Then choose your formatting. Now when I close all of my searches, you can see weak verbal forms marked on the Hebrew text. Feel free to use your own color scheme in a way that makes sense to you. Visual filters and logos are a great way to save your advanced searches in a way that makes complex grammatical or morphological information instantly recognizable on the biblical text.